payoff pitch. Called strike three on the outside black, and that sits down Alex Sorgi. Rachel Knapp worked back from a 3-0 count, got her first strike out of the day. Really all Rachel Knapp needed that game. Absolutely. That one's hit into right field as well. Goes over the head of Wheeler. Curtis rounds second. She's heading towards third. Coach Yonker running her around home, and Curtis will score in a stand-up double for Erica Underwood. And Central Michigan has an early 1-0 lead in the first inning. 15 of their last 15. That one chopped up the middle. Nice diving grab there by Vieira. In time to second base. Throw to first is not in time. So it'll be 4-6. Fielder's choice. A run comes across to score on that. The 1-0. Chopped. Oh, let's go off the middle. And looking over her head is Hammond Jamarino. And rounding third and heading home is Allison Curtis. Here's the play at the plate. Is not in time. Curtis gets in there with her left hand. And another stand-up double for Erica Underwood as Central Michigan takes a 2-1 lead. The pitch. This is away, and look at this. Gardner's halfway over to second base. You see the shortstop, Searle, uh, had to keep an eye over at Pearlberg, and Pearlberg in that meantime still made her way over towards home plate, and she made it safely. No. Chopper up the middle, behind a diving Searle. Rounding third, heading home is Gardner, and she will score easily. Vieira heading into third safely, and look at this, Marlink into second base. Looks like <laughs> Rachel Vieira today. That one swung into left field, and that one will go and hit the wall, and scoring is Lorimer, heading home as well as Tolfrey and Fulker, yet another RBI double, two games in a row. The one, two, swung and missed that for strike three, and that's strikeout number nine, and Rachel Knapp gets yet another victory. Victory number 10 on the season, complete game number 10. Rachel Knapp gets the W, nine strikeouts, and CMU wins seven to one, an impressive game. Two, two. Swung and missed that strike three. Curtis was just ahead of that one. That was a dirty pitch there, had that RBI double. First pitch, that one's hammered in the left center field, and that will hit off the warning track, bounce on the wall. Heath now heading into second base. She will stand there, standing up. It was, but only is Heath over there at second base, and that's a hit up the middle. That's a base hit. Rolls in front of Jamarino. Rounding third, heading home is Heath, and she will score. So that's another run to start off the game for CMU in the first inning. Here's the one, two. Swung and missed that for strike three. Sits down Hinkle, first strike out of the day for Warren. That one's chopped over at shortstop, off of the shoulder of Gardner. To rounding third, heading home is Schrock, and she will make it in there standing up. Season the one, two. That one's a floater, and that goes over the outreach glove of Hinkle. Rounding third, heading home is Pearlberg. She gets there safely, and the ball gets away from the third baseman. Schrock, runners are advancing, and Kalina slides very short of the third base bag, so she's tagged out. But Pearlberg is what scores through it. Going is he. That's a short popper. That lows underneath the glove of Searle. She dove, she couldn't grab onto it. Tolfrey scores, and Underwood is back over there at first base. Bit of a batter at a potentially third base. That one's hit into right field, and under it is Lorimer. Sticks up her left hand and makes the third out of the inning and the final out of the game. Central Michigan wins game number two. They sweep the doubleheader. They win the first one 7-1, and they win this one 3-1 over Bowling Green State University. An incredible game. Um, starting out the conference with two wins is huge. Uh, it's what you want to do every year, so we're excited about that. I thought uh, we hit the ball really well in the first game. Hit the ball pretty well in both games, but we didn't really do a good job of executing scoring runs in the second. But I uh, thought both pitchers did a nice job.